All right, so we are at the point where we need to put the LEDs in. So uh, your build should look pretty much like this right now. And I've already put the LEDs in. The important thing here is do not solder anything more. You have to put the LEDs in and put plug the power in and test everything. Test all the switches, make sure everything works. Make sure uh, signal goes through all the loops and stuff before we actually go and put it in the enclosure. Because once you put this in the enclosure and solder all these LEDs in place, if you have to troubleshoot something and take this out, you'll never, you'll never get the the LEDs back in in their holes. So it's really important that you make sure everything works perfectly before you put it in the enclosure. So, you put the LEDs in, and uh, I'll take one out. They go in in the back here, and uh, the long lead goes in the square hole. And after you put it in, you want to uh, bend the leads apart a little bit so that way when we pick it up they don't fall out and also when we're testing this um, it'll help push the leads against the solder pad so they'll make contact so, so that we can actually test this so go ahead and put all your LEDs in make sure you orient them correctly and bend the leads out and then after you do that then you want to test this Make sure, make sure everything works the way it's supposed to. So we're going to plug the power in, and when we put power in, um, this light and this light, the the uh, loop status light and the bank A light should come on. And if your lights don't come on or they're flickering, that's okay. Just pull, pull them up a little bit so that they make better contact. And now let's press uh, the bypass switch. And um, until you've programmed something in here, all the, all the red lights should come on. And so they're, they're all flickering. But they're all coming on, so um, those all work. So now let's go through and turn on the loops and listen for the the click of the relay on each loop. So we'll do one. One works. I can hear the relay click. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, seven, six. Okay, so those all work. Uh, let's try the bank. That's a little bit trickier. So we've got to press all three at once. So there's A, B, C, and D. So those all work. Let's go back to A. Um, let's program something real quick. So we got eight, six, and four on here, and we'll program program that as uh, loop two, two A. So two is blinking. And now let's switch modes. All right. So everything comes not until we've actually programmed something. That's normal. Um, and all, all three of these lights, uh, all the lights should come on. So, except for this one. So let's switch, let's get over to bank A. Alright, we need bank A and loop two. There, so, so I'd say it's safe to say that everything 
with this, with the LEDs and the switches, the, everything there is working fine. Now you are going to want to test signal and make sure that the relays and everything up here is, is wired correctly. And you need to plug a, a guitar into both uh, the buffered input and into the normal input and, a, and your amplifier into the output over here. Um, and when you have everything in bypass, it should pass signal straight to your amp. And then you want to go through one by one and try test each loop. You don't need to put all eight in all at once. You don't need to use um, actual pedals. You can just use a single patch cable. And all you're going to do is plug one end into your send and one end into the corresponding return. Because it comes in, and when it's in bypass, it's just going to go straight out. Then when we turn on loop one, oops, we're in, we're going to switch over to loop mode. So if we put it on loop one, now signal goes in and goes into this send and out and then out there to your amp. If I turn off loop one and turn on loop two, or even if I leave loop one on, Flickering. Signal will come in, go to the send of one, come back in through the return of one, go to the send of two, and not go anywhere. So your signal is going to die. So once you turn off that, then you should hear bypass again. So just go through and turn off each loop and move this, plug in each send and return, and test it and make sure that the loops work. And then you are ready to put it in the enclosure. You really need to test everything before you put it in the enclosure because once you solder these LEDs, if you have to take this out again, you're going to have to desolder all 21 of these LEDs and you don't want to do that. So, all right, so now I'll show you how to uh, put this in the enclosure. Okay, so I've put uh, foot switches and all the send and power and buffered input jacks. I've installed those all. And um, you want to tighten these up because this is hopefully the last time you're going to mess with them. So those are all in place. And then on these jacks, um, when you when you, when you get them, they should actually have two of these little washers, Come on. two of these little washers. There's an inner washer, and then there's this uh, beveled one that goes on the outside. And each one will have two of them. You actually want to take one of them off. You only want one on each one. And so this part, hopefully, should be pretty simple. Uh, the most tricky part, trickiest part. Is you kind of there's a that buffered input jack has a couple wires, usually a foot switch wire wants to poke up. So make sure that those don't get up um, in the way of the PCB so that it can't get uh, flush against the enclosure. And you just push these down, and they'll just snap right in place. And once they're in place, you take uh, the nut. It actually already has the, the bushing on it, and you put that uh, beveled plastic washer on there, and, and you lock them all down. And if for some reason you need to get this out, it's kind of tricky to get it out this way. What you do is you just push down on this end, and then it'll pop out, and then you can pull it out. So that's the, the trick if for some reason you need to get it out and rearrange some wires or something. So. Um, let's go ahead and put this in. I'm only going to put a couple of these nuts in just to hold it in place.
couple of you. Um, but you would want to go ahead and put all of them in. And then, uh, there's 21 of these, so it'll take a couple minutes. But then you just use these and sometimes you have to pull them out and start over again. Uh, then you just guide all your LEDs up into their little holes. And if one's sticking out too much, you push it down a little bit. And uh, I'm not going to do all 21 of them, but then you go through and do the same thing here. And once they're in place, then you, you solder them. And, and you probably don't want them sticking all the way out. I, I kind of like them sort of flush, just a little bit of the dome sticking out. And then you go in and you, and you solder them.